Saints, this is a topic that's going to be different. I touched upon it um, about obesity on uh, several videos back, but I never really got deeply involved in the topic. Now, I had a subscriber email me, um, and she also showed me some video links. But she herself in this predicament, she says she's morbidly obese. Um, she's five foot four. I'm sorry, she's not five four. She's five <clears throat> five, and she's four hundred and twenty pounds. Now, she said that she's okay with herself and okay with her weight, but in the same breath, she said that her obesity is causing problems such as. Um, knee problems, she's not able to walk as much, straining her body, she has shortness of breath, she has diabetes, high, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high sugar. Um, it's affecting other parts of her body, uh, according to her doctors, is putting strain on her organs. For example, her kidneys have to work twice as hard, her heart, her lungs. I mean, it's that bad. But she says she's okay with her weight. Now, I viewed the cases that she showed me. Um, these are some people that are so fat they can't get out of bed, or they're on their way there. And a lot of them are young, and uh, there's one woman that's 48 years old. There's a kid that he's 500 pounds, and he's got to be in his early 20s, or, or maybe my son's age. My son is 19. Now look, those of you that are in this predicament, Okay, I'm going to emphasize one thing to you, several actually. It is a requirement in the Word of God that you take care of yourself, you take care of the temple. The only one that has to, uh, the, only, the only one that has to blame for being your size is you, because ultimately you make your choices, okay? So, for example, if you have food addiction and you keep eating and eating and eating and you know you have food addiction, which the majority of these folks have, okay, you need to seek help. Now, some of these individuals may have a medical condition, okay? The medical condition can cause them to have an increase in appetite and also the medical, the medication, I'm sorry, the medication can cause an increase in appetite or it can even cause weight gain in itself. It goes hand in hand. If it's causing an increase in appetite, you let your doctors know. You exercise self-control by asking the Holy Spirit for help if you are a follower of Christ. You exercise self-control. <clears throat> so you don't eat as much and you don't develop a habit of food addiction. If it's the medication causing weight gain and you say you're not eating a lot, <clears throat> you let your doctors know to change your medication so you don't have weight gain. But either way, if you are on medication or not, for let's say you're fat for medical reasons, okay, you still need to take care of yourself, eat right, so you can maintain your weight. It doesn't negate the fact that you need to take care of the temple. If you are eating purely for food addiction, you need to stop. Exercise self-control, and you need to take care of the temple. Eat right. Eat right exercise you need you need to do it it's it's you are the only you the only ones that can do it i mean god can help you but you got to help yourself first if you have individuals um i mentioned about medication that causes you to gain weight you ask god again for self control and you tell your doctor to change your medication there are actual demons behind this i mean i don't know if you're aware that one of the seven deadly sins is gluttony as greed um, it's a spirit of addiction. It's a spirit of eating. Person that loves to eat, food addiction. Then there's a spirit of weight gain. Any kind of weight gain. Um, weight gain uh, for, let's say, if you have obesity because it's a medical condition and you're gaining weight because the medication is making you gain weight and you're not asking for self control. That's an actual demonic spirit behind that. Then you also have medication itself, where you you're being you you're just gaining weight, gaining weight and gaining weight. Um. 
that is a spirit of weight gain as well. And like I said, you have the option to ask your doctor to change your medication for you, you know, to so you can give you medication that will not cause your weight gain or will not cause harm to your body. Or your best bet is to just forego the medication and trust in Jesus Christ to heal you. I'm going to tell you guys something, okay? I was at my heaviest, I was 254 pounds. And I'm 5'4". And I know what you guys are going through because I was where you were at. I understand that it's not easy losing weight. I understand it's not easy staying committed because you're hungry all the time. But nonetheless, you have to do it. The reason why you are obese is because it's your fault. Nobody else's fault but your own. And you need to take ownership and do something about it. Cry out to God for help. God will help you. I cried out to God for help. Because my doctors told me that I was overweight for my height. And if I wanted to see my sons grow up, I needed to do something about it. The emphasis on that is me. The doctor said me. I need to make the right choices. I made the choice to cry out to God. And God directed my path. Eating right, exercising. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fell on my face a few times, you know. But I had to give up a lot of stuff that I love. Like fried foods, ice cream, soda. I don't eat red meat. I stick with chicken. Um, sometimes I eat lamb because it's clean. And I mostly eat like um, vegetables, eggs, protein. I take fish oil, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. I take a vitamin, multivitamin for women. I mean, I take care of myself. I drink a lot of water. I exercise six days a week, sometimes for an hour or an hour and a half. And now I'm down to 163 pounds. I believe I lost two more pounds. I'm actually down to 161. And I'm the weight's just flying off because I'm doing what I'm, I have to do, you know? When you are morbidly obese, or even obese for that matter, it's dangerous for you. I'm dealing with two cases, okay? Well, third case now. The subscriber I told you about she's 420 pounds. I'm going to communicate with her one-on-one -on, -one on how she can lose that and what she needs to do. Then I'm doing with two more individuals. One individual weighs 402, another one weighs 400. The one, these two that weigh 402, the one who weighs 402, he's a man, he's uh, in his early 20s also. And then the one that weighs 400 pounds, he's um, 40. Now the other cases have diabetes, high blood pressure, and sleep apnea, and breathing problems, and knee problems. That's common with weight of this magnitude. But the one that's 400 pounds and he's 40, he's got a heart problem. A heart problem. Now, I'm not going to give out any names, but he's got a heart problem. His heart is enlarged, and his doctors told him that he has to get the weight off. He, meaning he's, he's accountable for this. And if he doesn't, he's not going to make it. And that's just a point blank. You can only live so long on a pacemaker. Eventually, that individual will either need a heart transplant, which is forbidden in the Bible. You can look up the scriptures yourself. Or he's going to have to trust in God, which is what I would do, to heal him. This guy, okay, asked me for help, right? So he goes, tells me, well, I don't feel motivated to go into my room and remove the, or get it, I don't feel motivated to go into my gym. He has like a small room in his place and there's a gym there to uh, work out. And he wanted to get some type of equipment that looked like a bow flex and put it in there and get rid of the treadmill. So I'm thinking to myself, you need to take one step at a time because you're not in shape yet to even talk about lifting weights and doing this and doing that. You got to take it one at a time and that's taking your time when you exercise because when you exercise, you want to exercise with precaution and safety so you don't get injured. So I said, well, why don't you just use the treadmill, you know, to uh, lose some weight? Oh, my doctor says I can't even exercise. That's what he told me. So then why are you getting the machine for? And then I said to him, it doesn't make any sense. What kind of a doctor would tell you that? Not to exercise. 
not to try to lose weight. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, he walks around every day. Why not just walk on a treadmill and walk some of those pounds off so he can lose some of those rolls, you know? I'm not trying to be critical. I'm just saying that he can get healthy. But he makes excuse after excuse, you know? And I got full of righteous anger, and I told him, okay? And I'm not making fun, but I told him that his fat behind needs to lose weight. Because it is dangerous. It is not healthy. Does it look good? No, because a person's going to look at you and think, wow, if this person doesn't care enough to take care of their own body, they don't even care. Then how can they sit there and say that they care about themselves or other people? You have to take care of the temple. I mean, it's a requirement of the Holy Spirit. You can't make excuses. You have to take accountability. If you are fat and you're morbidly obese, and only you, you alone, need to make the right choices to get healthy. And if you're ready to make those choices, please message me. And I would be more than happy to share my story with you because there's more to it. And I would be happy to help you. The choice is yours.